hello everybody. Good morning, Thursday. And I am still in the Himal and Arda Valley, which is famous for a number of things. Uh, the natural beauty that people enjoy. And another reason why people visit this valley is because of the wines that are produced here. It's, it's, it's rivaling the Franchuk Valley, I might tell you, in the production of wines, superb wines. And over my left shoulder is the, uh, or the vineyards of Hamilton Russell, a very famous and distinguished vineyard. Um, do you remember what Jesus said in the 15th chapter of the Gospel of John? I am uh, the true vine. Um, my father is the gardener. And every branch of, of the vine that doesn't produce fruit he, he lops off and tosses it into the fire. But, but those that do produce fruit, he, he prunes. Why? In order that they might bear more fruit is the reason that Jesus gave. It's a wonderful picture for us to, to contemplate and God's interaction with us, how God wants us to be fruitful men and women. Uh, I, I think sometimes we, we aim at the lowest possible standard of, of, of Christian living that kind of keeps us basically fundamentally Christian. We don't aim high as if to say, I want to bear fruit. I want to live a fruitful life, fruitful for God, a life that blesses my family and blesses the community where God has placed me. I am the true vine. My father is the gardener and he wants us to produce fruit, to be those kind of fruitful people. You did not choose me, said Jesus, a little later on in that chapter. I chose you. Why? Think about it. In order that you might bear fruit, fruit that will remain. Now you keep that picture. And every time you come up the Himalayan in Arda Valley, look at the vineyards and hear the call of Jesus to you to live a fruitful life in his name. God be with you.